Okay, here we're taking a look at lockout devices for this ABB T-Max circuit breaker. Now, ABB offer their own uh, device for this, this breaker. This one here is removable. This one here becomes permanently fixed to the uh, breaker. Now, I'm just going to show you here how we use them. Starting with the removable version, it's a, a two-part assembly which hinges like this. These are the holes through which you put the padlock, and these uh, parts here engage with the breaker. I'm going to try and fit this here now. So, inside the cavity of the breaker where the toggle switch throws, there's two little opposing uh, cutouts. You push it in like that, align the padlock holes, and pop the padlock through. And as you can see, there's three padlock holes, allowing you to put up to three padlocks on there for multiple worker isolation and lockout. So as the name suggests, this is a, a removable padlock device. Uh, the part number for this is the 51393. This fix unit, similar part number 51394, to fit this uh, requires removing the fascia plate, which you can do here, it just pops off quite easily. With that off, you also now need to remove this cover plate here, and I've already loosened off the screws. If you untighten the screws, take the screws out, that allows you to remove this cover plate. And you can see these two holes here. Now those, those aren't normally there. You have to either punch them through from the back, or what I did here was I actually drilled those out. So this replacement component here, the lockout device, fits over the front like that. And in the pack come these two small threaded screws and you insert those from the back and tighten those up. Now with those tightened up, that cover plate is now securely in place. Lower that back into position. And how this locks out is this, it's got this little hinge plate here. Uh, so when you fold it into the way, you can see that that tongue there is stopping the, uh, the toggle of the, of the breaker moving back to the on position. So in that position there, like the other device we just looked at, there's three padlock holes here. You pop the padlock, now it's coming apart because I've not actually fixed it on, but you pop the padlock into position here, and that locks it in place. So those are the two lockout devices from ABB. I'm just going to quickly show you two others which are also suitable for this style of breaker. I'm just going to revert the breaker back to the original uh, cover plate here. So I'm going to take that off, pop that one back on there, pop the screws in, tighten up the screws. So that's the standard breaker as, as you take it out of the box. We've got two other lockout devices here, one from Brady, one from Masterlock. This is uh, referred to as a clamp-on uh, circuit breaker lockout. The part number of this one is 65396. It's got a thumb screw mechanism here and an opening here through which the toggle of the switch goes. Offer it off onto the toggle like that, tighten up the thumb screw until it grips, it's now gripping. Fold the cover plate shut, what that does is cover up the, uh, the thumb screw and, that, and it reveals the hole where you put the padlock through. So you can see that's quite conveniently locked in place now, quite a good fit. Uh, the only downside of this unit here is you've only got facility for one padlock. 
but of course you could hang a multi-lock hasp on there uh, if you want to do isolation for more than one uh, worker. So that's the Brady 65396. And the other unit which fits well on here is the Masterlock 491B, uh, also known as the Grip Tight uh, Lockout. It's so cool because after you've tightened up the thumb screw onto the toggle, just get a preliminary grip. When you push the lever down, there's a cam action here which uh, causes it to take uh, an even tighter grip on the toggle there. So now with that fully down, you can see the padlock hole here lined up. We can pop the padlock through here, snap that shut. Like the Brady unit, there's only space for, <coughs> excuse me, there's only space for one padlock, but you can add a lockout hasp on here to extend the number of um, padlocks you can fit on there and lock it. So that's the Masterlock 491B.